What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to do this super cool clone effect. So here I have my raw video clip on the timeline. And the first thing I'm going to do is select it, go over to my effects tab and go down to the mask section and just drag on the draw mask effect. Then I need to cut around the car to create a separate layer for just the car only. And this is the hardest part of the effect. So what I'm going to do is zoom in by 200% just so we can get the mask more accurate. So to create this mask, what I'm going to do is just click on the screen and start drawing around the car. And if you click and hold, you'll be able to drag out these points, which makes a smooth curve on the mask. And it's important that you do that when there's a round bit on the subject so that you get a nice smooth mask. So now we have the mask created, I'll just go through a few more tips on masking. So if you want to add another point to the mask, what you can do is just double click on the line and that will add another point. And you can also go back and change the curves of the points. If you hold down command, select the point and then just drag, it will let you curve out the edges. Another good tip is you can actually click and drag and just select different points on the mask. And if we click and drag on one of them, you can actually move that portion and all of those points together. And this makes it really useful when we have to animate the mask and keyframe it. And if you wanted to delete any of these points then you just right click and go to delete point. Another cool feature, what you can do is select all of the points or just a certain few points that you want to smooth out. And then if you right click, you can click smooth, which will add curves to all of the points to smooth them out. So you don't get like the sharp edges and that's pretty useful if you want to just create a quick mask without adding curves and then you can add the curves afterwards. The next thing that I like to do when masking out a subject and having to track it is just to copy and paste the video layer by holding down Alt on the keyboard and then dragging. And then on the bottom layer, what we'll go, what we'll do is turn off the draw mask effect. So now if we click the top layer, we can see the background so that we can easily find the edges when tracking the mask. So next step is to go up here to the draw mask effect on the top layer, go to transform, hit the keyframe button on position rotation scale, and then also on control points. And then I'm gonna to go to the beginning of the video clip and move the mask so that it's around the car again. And then what I can do is select all of these ones on the side, move them over so that it's in the general area that it needs to be. And then I can just refine some of these ones around here. So once I've repositioned the mask on the first frame, I'm gonna to go to the end of the video clip and reposition the mask so that it's around the car on the last, on the last frame. Okay, so now I have the end frame done, the middle, the middle section and the first frame masked out, what I'll do is go in between the first and middle frame around about here, move the mask, readjust it, and then I'll do the same between the middle clip and the last frame, and basically just adjust the mask so that eventually the whole way through the video, the mask is sticking to the car. So now that I have the car fully masked out, you should be able to go through each frame and see that the mask is around the subject. You can use the feather to take away some of the image if you need to, when you animate it, if you notice that there's some background still in there, then you can turn the feather down to like minus five or minus 10, just get rid of the edges. And then the next thing I'm going to do is turn this into a compound clip. So I'm going to right click and go to new compound clip. I'm going to duplicate this compound clip. So now on this middle video clip, if we click the transform tool, we can freely move the car layer behind the original video clip. Or if you wanted to do the effect the other way around, then you just move this top layer. It depends how you want to lay it out. So to create this kind of split clone effect, what I'm going to do is select my middle video clip, go to the transform tool, hit the keyframe button up here, and then move along a few frames and move this video clip up above the car. 
And then to get smooth movement on these or like ramped movement, I'm going to right click on the first keyframe and that will bring up this point here, which I can drag up and I want it to move fast at the start and then slow into the end position. So I'm going to drag the, the point up above the end keyframe. And then on the last keyframe, I'm going to right click and just select linear on that. So now we have this animated to pop up above the car. What I can do is duplicate this layer, go to the transform tool and click on the arrow up here, which will go to the last frame. And then I can just drag this car down here. And then I need to right click on the points and just redo this point right here so that it goes down to the bottom. So now we have two clones of the car separated like that. Then the next thing to finish it off, what I would do is add some motion blur, go to my titles, go down to motion blur. Motion blur doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave the link to it in the description. It's a plugin that you can download. If I just drag some motion blur over this, then you can see that it adds some nice motion blur to the movement and it's gonna make the movement look a lot smoother. So now if I wanted to animate these back into position, back to where they came from, what I would do is cut, cut these video clips here, and then I'm going to copy and paste one underneath and just extend, extend the clip out to the end and cut this to here. And then what I would do is hit the keyframe button at the start so that it stays in that position, but then go back and get rid of the other keyframes we created. Move down the timeline a few frames, move it back into position. Uh, we could go up here and just make sure it's zero, zero in the transform position so that we know it's gone right back to the center. On the last keyframe position, I'm going to right click click smooth and just drag the point down to this first video clip, right click on the first keyframe, make sure it's linear. So now the car should move into position in a ramped speed. And then I'm just going to repeat the process for this one. And yeah, that is the finished effect. So going back to the masking, you only need to mask where you want to do the effect. So I could have actually only masked from here to here. Now, if I wanted to, I could add more effects to the end of the video clip because I do have the video clip masked out. And yeah, that's pretty much the effect. Once you have masked out layers, then you can go on to add lots of different other effects to the background or the foreground. It's a really cool thing to learn how to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.